Hey everybody, in this video, we'll continue talking about exponential growth and decay. Example 1. Suppose that a population of parakeets has a growth rate of 56%, and the rate of change of the population is directly proportional to the population. Initially, there are 100 parakeets. So what we're going to do is write a differential equation that models this scenario, solve the differential equation, and then figure out what is the population after three years. Pause the video and try to solve these problems on your own. Okay, let's go through the solutions. Write a differential equation that models this scenario. Since the rate of change of the population is directly proportional to the population, we'll use the differential equation dp dt equals kp. k is the growth rate, which is 56%, but we need to convert that to a decimal. So our differential equation is dp dt equals 0.56p. Now let's solve the differential equation. We can solve this by jumping to the solution, and that gives us P equals CE to the 0.56T. We know that P of 0 equals 100, so that means C equals 100. So the population equation for this scenario is P of T equals 100E to the 0.56T. Now we can determine the population after three years. We just need to plug in three to the equation, and that gives us P of three equals 536.555. So according to the model, there will be approximately 536 parakeets after three years. Let's do another example. Suppose that your bike has a leaky tire and the rate of change of air pressure inside the tire is directly proportional to that air pressure. At time t equals zero, the tire pressure is 40 psi and is decreasing at a rate of 0.25 psi per minute. Write and solve a differential equation that represents this scenario. The bike is unsafe to ride if the tire pressure drops below 15 psi. How much time do you have left to safely ride the bike? Pause the video and take some time to try to solve this on your own. Since the rate of change of tire pressure is directly proportional to the pressure, we can use the differential equation dp dt equals kp. And we know that at time t equals zero, the tire pressure is 40 psi and is decreasing at a rate of 0.25 psi per minute. We can use this information to solve for k. And that gives us k equals negative 0.00625. We can think of k as a constant that glues together the equation for this particular scenario. And so now we can write the pressure equation. P equals 40e to the negative 0.00625t. Note that I just plugged in 40 for big C because that's the initial pressure. Now let's solve the next question. The bike is unsafe to ride if the tire pressure drops below 15 psi. How much time do you have left to safely ride the bike? So what we need to do is set 15 equal to 40e to the negative 0.00625t and solve for t. Then after a bit of algebra, we get t equals ln of 15 over 40 divided by negative 0.00625 and that's approximately equal to 157 minutes. I hope these examples help you feel more confident with differential equations and exponential growth and decay. And that's how you rock calculus!